is an owl. Who? No. Dad joke. So, the ad's got me. Bought a bunch of stuff. Now we gotta test it. Because I'm determined to figure out what's actually worth buying. So many ads for some of these. So all over TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. If you like this series, check out the playlist. I have lots more. And we're gonna start with one we're gonna have kind of like going on in like the background. It's more of like a scent product, which is not normally something that I test on this channel, but um, it kind of, I wanna try it. <laughs> it's by the brand Lone, I wanna say. L-O-H-N, Lawn. Like John, but Lon, Lon John. <laughs> I think it's Lawn and it's their oil and scent pebble. And I've never tried a scent pebble before. So I thought that was a really interesting way of sort of um, diffusing a scent. Cause we've seen the, um, you know, the sticks, but I haven't tried a pebble. Apparently it's supposed to diffuse your, like in your space for a significant period of time. It's meant for more like smaller areas because obviously it is a small pebble. I got one of their scents with it and I figured we could have it going on in like the kitchen and just kind of see what's up with it. Also, I want to know what it smells like. This is Oest which has like bergamot, black pepper, clary sage, rosemary, vetiver. I don't even know what half of those are. Woo, almost licorice-y. Is that licorice? Christopher, does this smell like licorice? Yeah, kind of. More piney. Pine, okay. Not a scent I would normally go for, but um, I'm willing to try it. Wow. Packaging is very fancy. Ooh, she has small little pebble. I know it was going to be small, but I didn't realize how small. It's like fits in the palm of my hand. And then we have to do five to 15 drops. There we go. Something like that. Then I'm gonna put it over here. I like that it's small. It feels like something that would be nice in like a bedroom. Just kind of have it chilling on your side. Can you tell I'm a little scared of candles still? So we're gonna put this over here. We're gonna put it right here. We'll see if it starts to like smell the space up. We'll see. Now I wanna go on to some caffeine products. I can tell my ads have been chosen, so selected for me. And there are a couple of like really interesting ones because they're done in different ways and different forms, which I think is really cool. So we're gonna start with the, the coffee one for like putting into coffee. And it's by the brand Aloe. I'd never heard of Aloe before, before getting this ad on my, um, on my page and it's a protein powder for hot coffee but it's like a flavored one so it's gonna add some flavor with like vanilla they have mocha hazelnut and it's also gonna give you 10 grams of protein per like little package oh and apparently you can put it into not only just coffee but you can put it into anything that's hot basically so hot coffee tea matcha hot chocolate they they specify up here hot in front of everything i love the logo it's very clean very like i don't know inviting i really like that and uh it's just it's hydrolyzed whey protein for those of you interested. So I got the variety pack because I figured then we could like try them and just see which one we like best. Okay, can't do hazelnut. Caramel and vanilla are the ones that I am the most intrigued with. So that's what they look like. That's a lot of powder. And it says specifically that it is clump free on the website. Like they make it very clear that this is going to just like blend into your coffee, no problemo. It's also gluten free and doesn't have any sugar in it. It has stevia, worth noting. Mix into 10 ounces of hot coffee. 10 ounces, okay. So I have here just black hot coffee. My ember mug, everyone. She's back, very pleased. Christopher, should I try caramel or vanilla? Usually you like caramel more. All right. <laughs> Like how you know what coffee I like more than I do. Do I have to do anything specific? Just dump it in and stir well. You can do that. What do you smell like? Woo! That smells like maple syrup. Remember the hot chocolate we tried? That was like maple syrup. E was like French toast. That's what that smells like. I'm mad at that. I need a stirring apparatus. It's a whole thing. Ember mugs are worth it, but you cannot use metal spoons if you're gonna stir at the bottom of it. So I stir with a sharp knife. Like to live by the edge. Okay, let's put this in, because right now, looking a little clumpy. Does not look appetizing. Why is this such a small hole? There we go. Get it all in there. Oh my gosh, look how much it is. What? That is so weird. It just sits at the top. It doesn't even blend in. It's so weird. Okay, I need a spoon for like getting it mixed in a little bit. Just to smooth it in, this is so strange looking. 
Whiskey, whiskey. Okay, that's at least a little bit mixed in. I have to like squash some of it against the side a little bit. I wonder how sweet this is gonna make it. I'm very curious if there's gonna be like a like a grainy taste to it. Cause sometimes that happens with like a like a collagen powder and stuff. I'm trying some of those for um future videos. I don't know. I mean that doesn't look very um creamy, but that does look dissolved. So maybe we'll taste test it and then if I like it, maybe I'll just add some cream to it. See how that is. Okay, drum roll. I don't know if I just smell the caramel maple syrup or I taste it. I don't know. It is not very strong. I will say that. And I tried to make this as like 10 ounce as possible, but it is not very strong. This is probably something that Christopher would probably enjoy more than I would. Do you want to, do you want to try this? Christopher does not like his coffee as um, <laughs> sweet as I do. This is the caramel one? That's the caramel one. It smells like the maple syrup hot chocolate. It's French toast. The French toast. Oh, syrup. right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, kind of. Is that sweet to you? I'm genuinely no, 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 curious. No. Oh, it's not. Okay. No, it's not too sweet. I think I'm missing creamer. Like, okay, that's, cream. Okay, I want to yeah. add cream to it now. I yeah. just wanted to make sure to let everyone try it first. Not bad. I was looking for like a like a powderiness or like a clumpiness yeah, to it, that. and I don't see any of that, which is good. They have some mm. other flavors too. They have like hazelnut and stuff. I've never liked hazelnut coffee. Really? Yeah, no, it's not very good. Huh. Still not it, eh? I don't think that's better. I think I liked it before. Oh. Why did it make it taste off? That's interesting. I was expecting that to like really make it nice and creamy, but mm -hmm. it really clashed with whatever is in there. No, somehow now it's a stranger. It increased the bitterness, but not in a yeah. coffee way, but in stevia. That's what oh, that is. But it's yeah. like, like a bitter, like a bitter stevia, which mm. is weird. If you like your coffee, not sweet at all, but maybe like a, a like a, if you're in a, a waffle house, <laughs> So like, you know, bubbly, buble? Oh, buble, yes. It's not sweet, but it kind of tastes like lime or blackberry or whatever. Okay. That's not sweet, but it kind of tastes like caramel. Yes, that's exactly it. Coffee you know, bubbly. It's coffee buble, it's coffee buble. You know who might like this is Brendan. Brendan likes a good, like a, like a black coffee. That's Lowe's husband. I like to talk about them as if you're here all the time. <laughs> Brendan, I have, I have a treat for you. <laughs> this isn't my cup of coffee. <laughs> But it did not clump. It does not taste powdery in any way. If you don't like a sweet cup of coffee, you might really like this. And again, protein, cool idea. But don't worry, don't worry. Are we done with the coffee related things? No, we're not. Except this one is supposed to be like a, the anti-coffee. It's supposed to be a pick me up, not in the form of coffee, um, that you can have kind of throughout your day if you wanted. And two of them is equivalent to a cup of coffee in terms of caffeine. It's the brand Awake Chocolate. Basically they create these like little um, chocolates. They have a variety of different flavors and they have a little bit of caffeine in them. But 50, 50 milligrams, I was it? Yes, half a, half a cup of coffee equivalent in one of the chocolates. So I got two different flavors and what really, like when I saw the ad or whatever, it really drew me <laughs> with this owl. I know he looks really angry, but I really like him. I think he has a name too. I think it's like Neville. It's a Neville? I don't know. Something, something like that. And fun fact, I actually, <laughs> I worked with one of the guys that started this years and years ago. He wouldn't remember me at all, but um, I do remember that. That's Funny coincidence. So this has 50 milligrams of caffeine in it. I got milk and I got caramel. We're gonna try them. We really wired today. The kids are gonna come from the school. I'm like, why is mom running around the house like a lunatic? These are the chocolates right here. Little, cute. They also have, which is new, when I went back to go and like, make sure I understood this brand. Um, they have more chocolates. I think it's called Mellow, which has some things in it that's supposed to like help chill you out. Not melatonin, but it's like l -thion Thionine, l -thion I'm not an expert at this stuff. It's supposed to um, be like the opposite of awake. Another cool thing that I saw is that they, um, they donate a lot of their awake chocolates to hospitals for staff members there who are working like long hours or overnight shifts, which I thought was really cool. So anyway, we love supportive brands. Four pieces maximum per day. <laughs> That's good to know. Cute little owl. Is it like, oh, it is. I was wondering if it was like flavored like caramel or if there was like actual caramel in the middle. And it looks like, yup, caramel in the middle. Obviously you need to taste test it. 
That's some smooth chocolate. It's not too sweet, which I like, but it's not like a dark chocolate kind of a vibe either. It's not melting in my hands. You can see I've been holding it for a while. Like it doesn't have a strong like melt factor. I would say having tried like Mr. Beast's chocolate, again, he doesn't have caffeine in it, which I don't know, maybe missing. I liked that chocolate flavor profile more. I felt it, it felt more expensive, but is this like a good run of the mill chocolate? Yeah. I'm gonna try the, <laughs> the milk chocolate. I'm gonna feel buzzy today. Christopher, do you wanna try um, a caffeinated chocolate? Look at him, it's an owl. Who? No, it's Dad joke. This is the caramel one. Okay. This has caffeine in it, just letting you know. Again, I keep saying this. I keep expecting to like kind of like melt into it as I bite it. And it's not one of those chocolates. You can't even taste the caffeine. Can't even taste it. Well, it's not coffee flavored. It's just chocolate. That was so hard. I didn't taste a lot of caramel in that one. It's pretty tasty, but not strong caramel flavor. So this to me is something that you would have like, either if you don't like co coffee or just like a little chocolatey snacko to like pick you up in the middle of the day. Yeah, I was thinking a little after lunch thing. Mm -hmm. 50 milligrams of caffeine in one little thing. Yeah, yeah. that's a half a cup of coffee. Mm. I'm gonna be wired today, Christopher, wired. Yeah, yeah that's a couple of coffee things. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> this, I mean, they're pretty good yeah. though. It's a cool idea. Okay, now while I wait for that caffeine to kick in. Ooh. Now I wanna talk about the product that I probably see the most ads for, Sony ads. And I have tried something from this brand before and I really liked it, but they came out with some new products and again, they've just been piloting us with it. so many ads. <laughs> and that is the Always Pan by Our Place, but it's the enameled cast iron version. So you can put it into the oven, but you can also use it as like a regular cast iron. They say it's heirloom quality is what they said. And they have a bunch of like glossy finishes to the outside, which is supposed to be much easier to clean. And then the um, regular just cast iron in the inside. So I wanna show you the one that I got. I got this one. I like the color. I don't know. This color is like a really nice one. I will <laughs> list what it is below. I think it's smoke. Could be wrong though. Haze? I don't remember. And it has these like little things. So obviously if you're new to cast iron, this whole element is going to get very hot anytime you put it on the stove or in the oven. So you have to be very careful when you're taking it out of things or using it on the stove if you have not used it before. So it comes with like a really cool, it looks very like, um, it looks expensive. This little like holder here for here. And then also one for here, if you were using it on the stove. So you can kind of pick it up and take it places, which I think is a like a cool thing. It is quite heavy. I think they said it was like three pounds, I wanna say. And like, it's, <laughs> maybe that just shows how weak I am. She heavy, I cannot imagine having this like full of food. I would be struggling to do it just by the handle. So like, this would be a two handed one for me. <laughs> but before we cook things in it, cause obviously that's, that's gonna be an important part of it. We gotta see how it cooks. And obviously we're gonna bring Chris in for this because he is the one that uses the cast iron the most and um, has been quite choosy about the different ones that he has part of our collection. This is the one that we use the most. This is the Le Creuset one. You can see it has had a lot of wear over the years, but it does get a lot of really good use. You can see it does have the glossy outside as well. You can see the color it used to be. Obviously I have not cleaned the outside of my pan. Are we gonna judge me for that? I don't think we are. So yeah, I could probably clean that, but is this going to stay this color? Probably not. And that's okay. That is okay. So in terms of weight, I'm gonna have to say that the always pan is heavier. Oh yeah, not even close. I don't know why this thing is so, it's so heavy. It's so much heavier than this. This I can like, I can move around and use. What's the weight on the Le Creuset? 6.8 pounds. That doesn't feel right. So what was the always pan then? Wait a second. Oh, <laughs> I read it wrong. It's three kilograms. That is very different. I was gonna say like, wow, Rachel, really? Like I carry around my son all day long. Like, are you kidding me? It's this almost the same. This is 6.8 pounds. And this is 6.9 pounds. Why does it feel so much heavier than that? Christopher, am I the only one that thinks this? Is this one heavier? We haven't tried this one yet, but I'm gonna have you make something in it. Yeah. Why? They're, they're, they're the almost the exact same. It would have to do with how it's distributed. Oh. 
So it's just weighted differently. Yeah, handle on this one feels harder to grip and it's harder to get a handle on the whole thing. It's longer, so you're holding weight further away from you. If you hold them both like here, it feels they the feel same. about the same, yeah. Really? Oh, okay, hold on. Now I need to try that. No, this one still feels lighter. I don't understand. Okay, you know what? We're gonna try and cook things. So we're gonna go over to the stove. It comes with this wooden sort of spatula thing um, that you can rest into the notch there. And then it also has like a lid and matches that you can put over top and you can kind of see everything through. The lid feels nice. Like it feels like a nice, quality lid. This feels really light, very cheap. I don't know why. Just something about this is just, it feels flimsy to me. This feels like it's not gonna hold up for a very long time. Let's see how it cooks though. All right, these have been heating up. Obviously, obviously you can tell which one is which. We're gonna do steaks side by side and just see how they do in terms of um, even distribution of heat. Nothing exciting so far. Any initial thoughts, Christopher? Can't believe you don't find this exciting. <laughs> wow, riveting. Right, let's see here. A nice browning there. It's not a perfectly flat piece, so you wouldn't expect it everywhere, but that's nice coloring. This one took a little bit longer to brown. Ooh. That's a very deep brown, I like that. I like the look of that one better. It took a little more time, so that makes sense that the enamel on this one is a little bit, you know, more non-stick out of the box than this one. But right. we're both coming along. One, not quite there yet. Here's what I'm gonna do. Transfer it to here. Finish it with a bit of butter. It's definitely heavy to hold while tilting. Like, I, I've got it resting on the grate. If I were lifting it, that would that would take a lot. Glad I'm not the only one. I was like really concerned about my my strength. No, it, it it's a heavy pan, which you know can be good, but it's not ideally weighted. Oh, I'm so excited! So while the steaks are cooling, I mean obviously we have to taste test them. I'm gonna go into a product that I'm not gonna lie, I have avoided, <laughs> including this one for a while. I don't know why. It's just something about this just feels so wrong. I don't know, I can't explain it. It's probably a fine product, but it's something that I get ads for sometimes that it's like scrolling through and it's the Crunch Cup. And this product is designed for anyone out there who struggles with um, soggy cereal in that they don't like it or will avoid cereal because it gets soggy. I have a family member in my household who will just refuse to eat cereal in the morning because of the SOG factor. So I'm curious if this um, makes that better and more appealing and we're gonna test it out. So basically how this works, I don't know why this is just it's so weird to me. This is the cup. This is the cup right here. Basically how this is supposed to work is you put your your cereal in the middle one and then the milk on the outside or maybe it's the opposite i don't remember no i was right milk on the outside cereal on the inside then you put it all together and then it's only when you actually drink eat it that the cereal and the milk become one so you kind of avoid the whole um soggy cereal situation. It's, like, it's very innovative, very interesting. I feel like it would be really good if you were commuting to work or just don't like soggy cereal. I mean, who does? All right, well, I guess we need to like add in all the cereals and stuff. So I'm gonna put in my favorite cereal, just chocolate checks. It's delicious because really my favorite, <laughs> one of my favorites anyway, is um, mini wheats. And I feel like mini wheats would be very aggressive for this. I need they'd be too big. Okay, so let's see how it is to like pour it in. Cause like the opening on this thing is like really small. And you also, um, worth noting, uh, don't get a lot of cereal. This is for when you want a snack sized amount of cereal. Not a lot, just a little. And then you screw the lid on to the, the cereal. Then we put the milk in here. Only pour to the max line, which is here. I don't need that much. We'll, we'll, do, we'll do that. Then you put it in, in here. I think you screw it on like that. And then you put this on. Snap on the top cap. All right, so it looks like this. I don't know, super weird, but I, I kind of get how this works now. So I guess I need to taste test this and just see, see what the fuss is about. This is so weird. What? Okay, okay. Such good cereal though, 10 out of 10. So you can see here the opening 
is quite wide so that you can get milk out and cereal out at the same time. However, if you have, like I filled it most of the way up, but I guess, I don't know, you have to fill it up more because as soon as I started tipping it, you get a ton of milk and then you have to like widen your mouth to like get the rest of the, like get the cereal. And I would only get like one or two checks at a time before I was like, that is too much milk. The milk to cereal ratio is very off. How much does it hold? 1.6 cups of cereal? No, there is no way that's 1.6 cups of cereal. Unless I like filled it from here, which I mean, I guess I could, I don't know. I don't get the milk to cereal ratio. And I feel like if I filled up the milk more, it would be even trickier to get that ratio. I'd have to like block some of the milk to get more of the cereal. And it just feels like a lot of work. I don't know, Christopher, is the steak ready? Yeah. Yay. Wanna try a weird gadget? I don't know, do I? Well, I'm kind of curious if it works better for you because I don't particularly like it, but there's nothing like wrong with it. Make sure you know which side is which. That is important. I will need to taste test them, you know, for science. This is supposed to keep your cereal and your milk separate. I don't know how I feel about it. That's the little crochet. That's the always. Tastes beefy. Good steak. What am I going to taste the difference of? Probably nothing. It's the same steak, cooked the same way. Mm -hmm. The one from the Le Corse came out more rare. It's a slightly thicker cut, so that's kind of probably it. Really, to me, it comes down to the fact that it's just not well balanced and makes it difficult to hold. And mm -hmm. it's not very comfortable because it's square. Like I get it looks pretty, but like I don't want to hold that. In terms of the cooking performance, they were very similar. They heated up well, they held their heat well, they similarly non-stick. I still prefer the Le Croce one, but I don't know, that's not shocking, I guess. It's a good product, it's heavy, it's gonna be durable, I assume. We like our other one, like yeah. that was good. It took a while to lose its, um, what's that? Non-stick non -stick yeah. coating, which happens with all pans, like they do eventually. Yeah become if you don't like super baby them which isn't realistic yeah it's fine it's fine you want to try this right. see what you think okay what's the deal here it's supposed to keep the cereal and the milk separate so that the cereal stays crunchy so i just you just you tip in and and have and to me it was just a weird you want a lot more than i did big mouth do you like it? It's a solution in search of a problem, but it works. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't get a lot of cereal out of it. Maybe I was being too delicate with it, but like I was not impressed. I don't know. Seemed it like the ratio to me. Depends on who you are, I guess, as a person. I prefer a bowl and spoon. That's just, that's my jam. But like, again, if you are commuting and you have this prepared in advance, like that's a really easy grab and go kind of a solution to me, right? Yeah, I mean, you know? if you're really into cereal and you wanna have it in the car as a passenger, I would feel uncomfortable doing this while driving. Yeah, I guess, yeah. I feel really uncomfortable having this on subway or a bus yeah. or train or something. So if you're a passenger in a vehicle- <laughs> And you really want cereal. It does work. Don't do that and drive though. Duh, yeah, you, fair point. Oh, I have to smell my little, my little thing here. It was honestly a little bit unfair to put it right next to the steak. So I'm gonna try and put it in our bedroom and see if it like smells up the place. But like in terms of scent itself, it f is skewing a little too black licorice for me, which I, I don't know why, but to me, that's what it kind of smells like. But I am curious, for because they do have some different essential oils, or you can use whatever essential oils that you want. I am curious from like a staying power kind of perspective. So I'll put my notes up here. We'll see what, you know, future rich things. But I think this is a really interesting video. Leave me a comment down below what ads for products that you have been seeing that we should test out on this channel. I will link everything down below in case you are interested. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic Saturday and I will see you guys all in the next one. Mwah.